Do you find content creation to be more of a chore than a tool for your real estate business? In this video, we're going to discuss why content is a game changer for real estate agents and why you should care about it. We're diving into the benefits of content and how it could transform your business. Think about this. What are you currently posting right now? Is it just listed photos, just sold photos, closings? What are you currently posting? Now think about how much engagement that actually gets, whatever you're posting. That's where our discussion comes in. Creating content isn't just about telling the world that you're in real estate and that you can help people buy and sell. That's not what content is all about. It's about building trust with your audience and positioning yourself as the expert in your community. So if you're ready to take your content game to the next level, keep watching. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're ready to get started. Hey, it's John Mendez, AKA Mr. Stop and Stare. Just don't touch the hair. My mission is to help real estate professionals like yourself keep your marketing in-house so you can build your online presence without losing focus on your business. And like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about the importance of content in your business. So why should real estate agents care about content? Content is a powerful tool for creating a strong brand, engaging with your audience, and attracting potential clients. It's more than just a platform for posting updates about your closing or about the latest interest rate hike. It's a space where you can share valuable content and build genuine connections with your audience. So many real estate agents get caught up in the metrics and lose touch with the people. They forget that just because your post didn't go viral, that doesn't mean that it didn't help someone. There are people behind the cameras that watch your content. They're not just views. These are real people that need help with probably the biggest financial transaction of their life and they need a trusted expert like yourself to help guide them through it. So how can content benefit your real estate business? Here are the three key benefits. Number one, building trust. By sharing valuable content, and relevant content to your audience, not to what you think is relevant, you can build massive trust and credibility with the people that see you online. There's a saying that it takes an average of seven touches before you can turn a stranger into a client online. And this can lead to increased client loyalty and more referrals. So here's a quick example. Let's say you have a best friend. If you were to text your best friend every day, hey, here's something about real estate. Hey, are you ready to buy a home? Hey, are you ready to sell? If you were to text them that every single day, how many days would it take before they finally say, hey, I'm not interested. Please stop texting me. It probably wouldn't take that many days. I asked one of my boys, and mind you, I've known him since fifth grade, if I'm not mistaken. And he said after day four, he was like, yeah, John, just, just, just stop. Four days it would have taken him to get fed up. And what about an email? If you were to email someone every single day about real estate, how long would it take for them to finally say, all right, John, like, hey, chill out. Not, I'm not interested. I'm not buying or selling. You might be able to go on for like a week, but after that, you're most likely going to end up in someone's spam folder or block or unsubscribe or a combination of all three. But when it comes to content, if you're posting once a day content that entertains, that educates, that engages, you can post every single day and people won't get bothered and they'll gladly watch your content, allowing you to build exponentially more trust without ever coming across as annoying or spammy. Benefit number two, increased visibility. Posting content consistently can increase your visibility and get you out to a massive audience of people that haven't met you before. When I was posting consistently on my podcast page, I was posting reels almost two to three a day. That account at that time had close to 300 followers. And within a 30 day time frame, if you check my analytics, I reached over 195,000 accounts. So my little Instagram account that had only 300 followers was able to reach almost 200,000 unique accounts. Imagine how long it would take to go knock on 200,000 doors or send 200,000 mailers or make 200,000 cold calls. You can reach exponentially more people in exponentially less time. And benefit number three, generating leads. Content is a great tool for lead generation, but the way most realtors go about it is wrong. See, there's two ways to go about creating content. The first I call the way of the influencer. And in the way of the influencer, the most important metric is the amount of vanity that you get. So the likes, the comments, the views, the shares, that is the utmost important thing when you're taking the way of the influencer. Now, the second path you could take is the way of the business owner. And when you're a business owner and you're creating content to grow your business, how many people watch your video or how many people like your post as long as the business is coming from it? And a lot of real estate agents make the mistake of taking the way of the business owner 
but expecting the way of the influencer results. They want to generate business from their social media, but they're creating content to stay trendy. And not to say that you can't generate business from trending audios and trending reels and trending videos, but that shouldn't be your main focus. And the path that you decide to take will determine how you go about creating content. So let me ask you a question. What's your favorite kind of content to post? Is it videos? Do you like posting selfies? Do you like posting photos of your home tours? What's your favorite type of content to post? Comment that down below. And here's a bonus tip. Don't be afraid to experiment with different forms of content. What works for you may be entirely different than what works for the next person. Whether it's video tours of your listing, or maybe you're posting client testimonials. Keep your content varied and interesting. Once you find something that sticks, make sure they run with it. Now, before you go, I actually have a course where I go deeper into these topics. If you go to stopandstare.media forward slash ChatGPT or click the first link in the description, you can go get your free ChatGPT course to help you dominate your real estate market. Now, you won't want to miss the next video where I'm going to be covering why you need to implement AI now.